Welcome to the Arum Fairy. I just picked up two huge bags of jewelry from Paula, now my favorite seller on Marketplace. And um, we'll see what I get through. Um, I usually find really interesting stuff in here. Um, and there, you can have a look. And I took this out. Um, this is lovely. She thought I could use it for sorting, which was really sweet. And um, this bracelet was on the plate and it's starting to come apart. So I'm putting that in crafting. But I just, the uh, links on this are beautiful. So um, I'm going to put that back together. Or even if you took that one alone and put it, used it as a pendant, it's, they're really interesting. I really like those, so I'm going to put those aside, and I will use this plate. It's got a heart on it. And we'll see what's in here. people unbox jewelry and they say, oh, well, this has been in, I've had this for over three months. Or, and I'm like, I get home and I have to look. So, um, let's just start there. <laughs> well, Well, we'll start with the obligatory shell necklace. If I get a bag that doesn't have one of these or a Cuba bracelet in it, um, I bet you don't get the Cuba bracelets in the States because um, you cannot go there. So uh, this is a much more interesting shell necklace than usual. So there's that. Where am I putting this stuff? Somewhere. Um, oh, here's a big old plastic, beautiful purple bow. Beautiful purple beads. They're really nice. Somebody would like that. Um, oh, this is really lovely. That's a collar necklace. Oh my gosh, the clasp is so well hidden, I cannot find it. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's really beautiful. It's got a very Egyptian feel to it. Somebody would love that. It's gold tone. Um, something I don't wear, sadly. Um, here's two puppy earrings. So, they're cute. Oh dear, it's going to be messy. What, if, what is this? Oh, this is tangled with everything else. Oh my goodness. Okay, this isn't, and this is fabulous. Look at that. Rhinestones, um, cylindrical, toggle class, brass, or copper, copper. And uh, that would look fabulous on somebody. Oh, I love that. All that glitters is shiny. And here's puka shells. They're dyed like a pale orange color. And, oh, I thought this was going to be a bracelet. This is a triple strand plastic to look like stone. Really pretty, the faceted, um, if I can show you close, and that, that's actually really pretty. That would look really nice on Dharma, because she's got auburn hair and brown eyes, and these colors look amazing on her. So I keep giving her stuff because I go, oh, that would look good on her. Um, let's get you out of here. So these are um, magnetic hematite with little 
yeah, we're putting that in crafting. And um, this is a tie pin, and it's got something on it that I can't see. <laughs> uh, if my dad were still here, I'd give him this. So I know who I can give this to. I know exactly who I can give this to. And his birthday's coming up. Um, it's, if you can see that, it's a golfer. So I'm putting that to the side because that is going to be a gift. Um, that's an earring. We'll put earrings to the side too. Oh my gosh. undo you and see how quickly that untangles this like that oh this is fun well, except for the earring that's attached itself um that's just a sort of an interesting necklace and the back is just as interesting and it's a uh, pretty much a royal blue pretty me Pretty, and this is a, a kitty one done in plastic, pale pink pearls with a unicorn. And I have to put that aside because I am putting together the most amazing kitty jar um, with really interesting stuff in it. This is interesting, also, it needs attention because the elastic is out. But um, I'm not sure, I think. I think they're glass faceted, all shades of green. It's really pretty, but it needs some help. And, um, oh, this is a belt done in, oh, for a very thin girl, uh, or boy, done in the Chanel sort of style with the leather looped through. It's actually very well made, so there's that. And that color is kind of a deep crimson. Um, uh, it's a knotted bracelet. Ouch. Yeah, I think that's going to go in the kitty jar as well. And here is a, a belt loop. La Chic. La chick. How would you say that? So that's never been used. That's my noisy neighbor. Um, okay, so the, they decided to pair these two up for some reason. And um, they're very different. So one is an interesting color green. Uh, like a teal, and the other one, uh, faceted black doubles, plastic. Um, this one is sort of flapper length that's really long, and this one is shorter. So there's those. And um, an angel keychain. And, oh, one of those, this is a bracelet made out of seeds and Stuff. They usually come from the islands. It's an interesting one. Hmm. Let's see, if we get you out of here, you might ease up the traffic jam. It's Sunday here in Canada, Ontario, and kind of a drab day, so it was a good day to go buy some jewelry. And... Oh dear. Well, um, I, she was, um, the, the girl who I bought this from, I bought a few times from her and, um, she said she specifically put these two together for me, and I thought that was just really sweet. All right.
So this is a cha-cha necklace. And um, that's fun. It's all in silver tones and grays and um, faux pearls. And um, I think that's really fun to wear. So that's just maybe me. Nope, somebody would like this. I wouldn't, though. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it. I just have a thing about loving the jewelry and not wearing the jewelry. So somebody, I need help. Oh, that's going to be pretty if there's a partner. I bet there's going to be partners for everything. Um, so a lot of this has the thrift shop price tags on it. And if I added it all up, it would probably come to like $150 or something. So that's a... Uh, this is really interesting. So it's plastic faceted sort of beads, if you can see that. Easily ting. Oh my gosh. So, oh, one is missing. Too bad. I'll put that in the crafting. But there, uh, the back of them is metal. So I, I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, there's a ring. And I'm not sure. It smells really bad. Um, so, and my hands are already dirty. And that's what that looks like. I'm probably not showing you stuff properly because the camera's at an angle. So I apologize. Um, here's a really interesting pendant. That would look good on something. Let's put that in crafting, earring. Um, pretty necklace for somebody with a really small neck. They're faceted plastic. Um, oh, it's also not a jewelry jar unless you get a couple of watches that don't work. Uh, that's that one. And um, I don't think it's got a name on it, but where are we putting these? Um, I saw this on the top. It looks, at first look, like a geode, uh, but it's not. It's plastic, but I still think they did a fabulous job. That looks, it's even got a bit of glittery, glittery, shiny to it. So if you can see close, they did a good job, except the edges should be rougher and just different color. Mm, uh, let's see, let's do watches. This is a watch that's rumors, I'm not familiar, but that's what that looks like. I think maybe the easiest thing is to pick stuff up and see what falls there. Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? This, <clears throat> I'm not a specialist, and I keep saying that because I'm not, and I probably never will be. However, there's certain tricks, like if you're not sure if it's gold or silver, the first thing I do is a magnet, right? And, well, I'm not supposing that this is gold because, oh, yeah, I do that a lot. So, um, wouldn't that be great if that was gold? but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, there is a tag on this, but it's just a, a bead. Um, when when you've got a clasp with like a shepherd's hook, you know it's an older piece. You just do. Um, but, oh, so this really needs to be looked at because even the chain is not magnetic. So I'm going to take a good look at that. Um, It's pretty hefty. If that were gold, that would be pretty amazing. But then, I don't know if there's anybody watching who does this. Don't you, like, if I found a piece that was really valuable, part of me feels, like, guilty because they sold it to me for such a good price and maybe didn't realize what it was. And, and I feel like I should, you know, go back and give them money. Um... I, for instance, I got two boxes 
from this woman and the stuff in it was amazing and I, I paid $15 for two good sized boxes for the pair of them and um, just one thing in there was a pair of earrings that I did a Google search on an image search and they're selling for $250 across the board so then I feel like oh she didn't know and then I think well that's part of the thing is learning and oh, I don't know I don't know anyway I feel guilty about everything I was shopping today and I had to go back and delete an item because I thought I might be paying too little for it and the girl came over to see what the problem was and I think she was laughing at me because it was the express checkout and that's the place where people go to like run off with stuff because they were organic bananas and I thought that maybe it went in under regular bananas and uh, honestly like I think people just do that all the time I'm just not one of them all right come on you so this looks like a it's very lightweight it's pretty and I'm just not gonna try to unhook this um, this chain in here it doesn't belong to this but that's what that looks like and these are really light really lightweight so there's that oh how did that time go by so quickly all right I wonder sometimes if people sell stuff because they just they're, they just don't want to do what I'm doing right now, like winding their way through untangling stuff that's crazy tangled. I've cut a few things. I just like, yeah, I'm done. Like it's this white seed bead thing that's causing all the problems, I think. So maybe if I can just get that out of the way, that'll help. There we go. And um, of course there's something else caught in there. There. I'm just gonna put that away. Um well that's pretty. That's a rhinestone necklace or bracelet. Um, I think for someone with Really tiny wrists, like me, little girl or boy. I don't care. Whoever likes to wear jewelry is fine. Oh. oh, I can always use these. There's just a little bag full of extra rhinestones and stuff. When you're fixing stuff, that comes in handy. Another watch. If you hear any yelling in the background, my son is playing video games and people cheat and he gets upset. There's a pretty bracelet. And that one's nice with the pearl in there. Copper. It's like one of the bracelets that people wear to um that actually might be silver. Yeah, in between, I believe so. That's nice. Ouch. Oh, I think something just pricked me. All right. Nintendo Switch. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, we'll put that. So I have uh, several piles going here. One pile is what I would keep and um, another pile is what I would make into, you know, boxes or jars or just send back to the thrift store because I do that a lot and then I can't shop at that thrift store for a while because the stuff in there, <laughs> the jewelry bags would mostly, mostly be my jewelry. Um, this feels really old uh, in terms of 
kind of crappy it looks like I'm, I'm not sure what the heck was going on with this but it's kind of like what I would do on my fireplace at Christmas on the hearth and then yeah um, we'll just put that in crafting um, Not silver. Uh, we'll just put that there. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't grab up all those. There's just two tangled. Another watch. Watch. And earring. Earring. Earrings. Woo. Well, those are cool. Oh, they got those pads on them that gross me out. There's no marking on these. But, um, they're kind of beautiful. Okay, I'm going to sort through this and then I'll be back. Well, there's half an hour of my life I'll never get back. Okay, going through this quickly. Here's a keychain. Resin. Alberta, Canada. And this bubbly thing. And what else we have? Uh, this, I had to cut one. Um, it was one on... A ribbon thing oh I see there were so many with tassels that was the problem so that's this one it's on a long cord um, the cord feels like almost like leather but I'm sure it isn't and for all the music lovers here's a oh don't tell me it got tangled again I had to go wash my hands too because ugh. And the first time you look through pierced earrings with a, a loop is terrifying. I, I think I would keep that because I'm very much into music. Or I know who I would give that to. I love that. That's really nice. Doesn't stick. I'm not sure. Um, here's a locket. And, um, and then a little tag there that says friends. And I believe, yeah. This is probably, you know, for by Claire's or something. And uh, I'm going to put that in the younger person's box. And here's some bangles. I'll have to check out. I'm really on the lookout for Bakelite. And this feels like this one is plastic. You can feel the ridge where um, the seam sort of. Uh, this one, though, the inside feels different than the outside, so I'm I'm just going to have to have a look at those, and I haven't yet, so that's what I'm going to do. Here's a pretty necklace. Um, it's not sticking, but uh, is it silver? Shouldn't it say silver? It doesn't say silver, but it looks like silver, so I'll be investigating that as my arm goes. And... Here's one of the culprits of the tangle, and this is um, this is a oh, I don't know what it is. It's just um, gonna go somewhere. <laughs> I think that should go just go. And here's another pretty little necklace. Um, oh, it's double strand. I see what it is now, and um. What does this say? Sarah Coventry, Canada. So, pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, this is fascinating. I'm going to do a little research on that. That's, I believe, carved out of bone. I haven't taken a close look at it yet. I'm not sure. Tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Well, I'm never sure, really. Sorry, sorry if I'm missing the mark here. Um, that's worth investigating. Uh, this is pretty. It's um, cat's eyes. 
cat's eye beads, glass beads, and I'm going to put that in the kit's one. And uh, here's this. I'm not sure. I think more crafting. I think. This is worth investigating. It's filthy. Like, I don't even want to touch the chain. But it's so interesting. So if I could make space and put it down there. That's what that looks like. This is carved from... I don't know. It might... I don't know. That's why I have to investigate it. Oh, here's a ring. What's on the ring? It's, ooh. And it feels native. Oh, the same design is on the inside. How cool is that? Just might be stainless steel. I might be totally wrong, but sorry. That's what that looks like. And then if you look on the inside, you see the same design on the inside. Yeah, that, now I'll never get it off. We'll take a look at that later. This is very pretty. I'm not crazy on the chain, but the pendant is lovely. Um, that looks, yeah, I'm going to do some research on that. So, um, and they're prong set, um, tiny. No, they're not. They're tiny. Uh, so are they diamonds? This isn't magnetic. And look at the back. Look at the work on the back of that. So that's definitely worth investigating. And then we have this pendant. And it, which will look lovely on something. And we have this pin and this glass, art glass. There was This was on one of those ribbon and string things that I cut apart to get the tangles out. And it was well worth cutting apart. And here's another um, oddish mishmash necklace. And... Um, one earring that I'll put over there and see if we find a partner. Now I feel like I just have to finish this bag and um, I don't think I'm going to go into the second bag unless I do it later and join these two together. Whoops. So this is the end of it. That's not too bad. So earrings, little reindeer puppies, and that will be good in the kids' box. Um, and this is pretty. Uh, if I showed you those wrong, I just have no idea tonight. Um, and some plastic bracelets. I'll put those there. And this is a bracelet, and that looks like how light, which is dyed to look like, um, Turquoise. Earrings. Earrings. Beautiful pendant. Oh my gosh. Love that. Love, love, love that. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I'm going to do something with that for sure. Um, I was hoping this was Bakelite when I first looked, but it's, it's not. It's painted wood, lacquered wood. I can't even get it. Well, I'm not going to because there it will stay. Somebody might like that, though. <clears throat> it wouldn't be me. I don't wear big things like that. Um, here's another watch. And that's a time. So, I mean, can't somebody come up with an idea of what to do with all these watches that nobody wears anymore because everybody's fit bidding. Um... This looks like a, a charm, pendant, charm, whatever. It's like a bit of a newspaper. Wow. 
Please, I hope you don't hear that. I should have told him I was doing this, maybe. Um, these are old, for sure. All right, there are those. Yeah. I'll be back.